We have Terry Verts with us right now, the former International Space Station commander. An honor to have you, sir. Um, a lot of people are just wondering why back to the moon. And, and you said there's a, there's a mission here that goes beyond just doing what we did 50 years ago. Well, tell me what that's about. <laughs> Well, it is. Uh, the moon, I look at as a, a stepping stone. We'd really like to send people to Mars in the long term, uh, but you don't just go to Mars on uh, as a first step. Um, and the moon is a great place. That's only a few days away. Mars is many months, maybe a couple years away. Uh, and so the moon's a great place for us to get back and learn the things that we need to do. Also, um, we can say that we went to Apollo or we went to the moon but that was 50 years ago. So there's nobody at NASA who actually was involved in the Apollo program. Um, so I think it's a good first step. All right, now this is a 42 day unmanned mission. It's gonna go 40,000 miles beyond the moon as far as the orbit and all. And, and this is really seems to be to test going, to, to me at least, way beyond the moon, right? Could you explain that? Yeah, this, this I think test is really the operative word for every aspect of this, um, from the launch, testing the launch pad out, the rocket itself, the SLS rocket, uh, the Orion capsule as it goes into this huge, you know, it's going to take a few weeks just to get one time around the moon. Um, and the big test item is when it comes back to Earth, it's going to be going so fast. I saw 11 kilometers a second, um, wow. about seven miles a second, and that's going to get very, very hot. So of all the things that they need to test, I think the heat shield is right at the top. All right. Well, this is wild to watch. So Friday, maybe they get this going. And then manned missions, I think they're talking a couple of years away still, right? Yeah, the first flight will be this unmanned test flight. The first astronauts will launch on the next one, Artemis II. They're saying 2024. Um, I wouldn't, don't book your non-refundable tickets yet <laughs> for that. But, uh, you know, ho hopefully that'll happen. That'll, that'll be another just orbit around the moon. And then Artemis III, a year or so after that, uh, as soon as we can get our lander ready, we'll actually land on the moon surface. So they're hoping that by the third flight, there will there will be American astronauts um, on the surface of the moon again. It's been it's been 50 years ago this yeah, year. Right. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Terry Verts, thank you. Maybe very they'll much. discover donuts there. Yeah, uh, maybe yeah, they'll yeah, discover that, donuts. That, there. That, that could happen. Um, thank you very much, our former <laughs> NASA astronaut Terry Verts. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.